All right, so it is Thursday, uh, May 7th, and no, it is Thursday, May, April. Oh my gosh. <laughs> April 7th, it's Thursday, April 7th. Um, it's definitely not May 7th because I would be uh, just competing yesterday if it was. But um, so yeah, it's Thursday, and it is April 7th, and I just finished cardio, which I did 50 minutes fasted. Um, just wanted to to check in so tomorrow will be four weeks out from the Pittsburgh Pro and um, Luke sent me my updates today we he pulled some carbs on training day and upped cardio by five more minutes and implement a few things so yeah just um, it's it's been a rough couple of days um, I did get more food yesterday but it still has has prep has taken its toll on me a little bit. So I'm headed to Starbucks to get a coffee and you can watch my other YouTube channel or my YouTube video on how to make that coffee that I'm getting and then headed to get some work done. Hey, so I have gotten home and I have my coffee over there at my desk, listen to Fuad's podcast, fixing my cream of rice. Uh, just going to show you. So I take my vitamins every morning. This is how I do it. Um, so just took those. Um, yeah, so we're gonna fix some cream of rice now. So my post, my pre-workout meal is 65 grams of cream of rice. I know that I'm not gonna get to work out until later because I have several meetings this morning. So what I did was split it up. I did 30 grams and then I'll have the other 35 grams an hour before I go work out. Um, I put the 30 grams in here dry, I add water, I microwave for one minute, stir it, microwave for another minute, just to get it thick. All right, so it's finished warming up. This is what it looks like, it's very solid. Um, the reason I do it that way is because I add protein and a little water into it. So I do measure out my protein. Uh, so I'm hitting, uh, today I'm using the Labrata Hydrolyzed Chocolate Protein. Um, I find it, especially the closer I am to show, uh, the more bloated that protein can make me feel. And this one, this one seems to, to not make me feel quite as bloated. I still do use um, my PE Science, but I use it later on in, during the day. For my first couple of meals, I go with this one instead. So then I add a little water and then I mix it all up. Sorry, the bowl's hot. But yeah, so that is um, kind of like my pre pre workout meal. So I'll have that now with my coffee and my water while I do meetings. I have meetings until like one o'clock today, so um, I'll probably have another bowl of cream of rice and maybe my chicken and veggie meal before the gym, so um, yeah. So while I'm in between calls, what I thought I would go ahead and do is fix my pre-workout drink and my intro workout, just to show you guys what I do. Um, so for pre-workout, obviously water. I do not love the way pre-workout tastes. Um, I've tried them all, so it has nothing to do with like a certain company or anything like that. I just like to get it down really quick before I leave. So with the water, I do a half teaspoon of taurine for cramps because I've had some really bad calf cramps. However, they're much better, much, much better. So I do that. Um, today is back day. So I'm going to use the PE Science um, pre-workout. This one has a little bit of a pump in it. I'm gonna do one scoop of that. 
And then I just got some granite supplements of Vasoblast, and I'm gonna do one scoop of that. Um, especially with the way I've been feeling, actually I'm just gonna do a little less than a scoop, but almost a full scoop. The way I've been feeling lately, I, I really need this to get me through. Um, so yeah, that is pre-workout. Oh, sorry, not, not finished. Also, I do a half teaspoon of sea salt in my pre-workout. All right, so that's pre-workout. Gonna be ready to go in about an uh, hour and a half when I get ready to go to the gym. I'll put that in the fridge so it'll be cold and it'll taste better. And then intro workout, I use one of the small Gatorade Zeros. I use, right now I'm using, still using um, Hostiles EAAs until I run out and then I'll be using Core Nutritionals. But I do a scoop, well, a little less than a scoop of the EAAs. And I do carbolin, 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 carb however you say it. Um, I've got to measure this one. This is a really good flavor. This one's green apple. Tastes really good. I know it sounds weird because so I'm, I have green apple, I have, let's see, berry Gatorade, green apple intra carbs, and then orange pineapple EAAs. But all mixed together, it tastes like a fruit drink, so it's really good. <laughs> all right, and then um, I also use Hostiles glutamine for right now. I also have um, glutamine from core nutritionals, but it is in pill form. So this one's good to put in my um, intro. And then this is L-carnitine. I do a half scoop of this because I use the other half in my green drink. All right, so that is intra. And both of these will go into the fridge. And in about an hour and a half, when I get ready to go train, I'll have my pre-workout and then this one, will, I'll put some ice in this one. This one will be what I drink during my workout. So I'm about to have um, chicken and I have cucumbers and celery and notice they're dark. I put um, pink Himalayan salt and cinnamon on these. Uh, this is one of my meals. It's basically chicken and greens, but I do this as kind of just something a little different for my greens, and then I do have another chicken and greens, so um, I'm gonna do this and then eat this now, which it is like 11.40 a.m. my time. Gonna try to get my, core, my, my cream of rice in as well before, I should have probably already eaten this, but I got busy, so um, before I go work out, because if I work out around, it'll be like 1.15 by the time I get to the gym and get started, I won't be done till, I won't be back home till probably three or 3.15. So um, that way I have three meals or basically two meals in. I just split them up um, before I go work out. It is 1.05, so I am headed to the gym. And I'm gonna be quite honest, I picked a really rough day to do a day in the life of a bodybuilder. <laughs> um, because I am in so much pain today. My lower back sciatica region is throbbing. It's absolutely killing me. And I've been in, sitting at my desk for most of the day and I am just hurting so bad. So I'm hoping that I get some relief. Um, I have back day today. It's, you know, all upper back, so I shouldn't be bothering my lower back any. But um, I'm just hoping to get some relief by being in there. Um, I just took my pre-workout, so I live about nine minutes from the gym, so I'm headed there and um, just stretch out real good and get started. Hoping I can hit the logbook today. That's 
All I can pray is that I can meet last week's numbers or beat last week's numbers. That'd be even off, more awesome. I think this week Luke took out um, one set. Uh, I can't remember which one it's on, but I'll have to look at my logbook. But uh, he took out one set of one of the exercises. So I'll just have one set less, which in itself is a little motivating because I can put a little more energy towards the other sets and the other reps. Uh, then I'm going to finish up with a little bit of post-workout cardio and then we'll be back to the house. I did not get to eat my cream of rice. I ran out of time and plus I just really wasn't hungry and I hate going to the gym with a super full stomach. So I do have the intro workout that I fixed and showed you but um, I'll eat my cream of rice as soon as I get back from the gym and then just probably be behind on meals just a little bit. So I'll just kind of eat them a little bit closer the next two meals a little bit closer together around my post training. machine row. I did 115 pounds on each side. I did get 15 reps each side. So I'm going to bump it down to 90 pounds and really focus on getting that, that mind-muscle connection and get in a good, hopefully 12-15 reps on that one as well. So we're making progress. Back to work. I just ate my cream of rice and had some packages delivered. It was not the shoe fairy package, but hopefully that's later. 
but some Amazon finds. Um, these cute Levi cut-off shorts. And then with my blonde hair, I use blonde shampoo. So I've got the Amika Cool Blonde Bust Your Breath shampoo. And then this is um, a primer that you can put on before like blow drying your hair. So it's like heat protectant. And it is Aussie. Smells good. Anyways, it's just for heat protectant. And then this is a Mika Cool Blonde Conditioner. And I don't use a whole lot of conditioner. I mean, obviously, I have really short hair. So uh, this is conditioner. And then this cute new little watch band. I have an Apple Watch, and I like to switch out my bands. Um, I'm realizing the further I'm into prep, the more there, it's as tight as it'll go, but it gets really loose. Um, but yeah, this cute little watch band. And I walk outside to throw away that trash. And look what's here. So this is the shoe fairy. Um, the shoes that I have are just like Amazon posing shoes. The heels that I have. So I'm really excited um, about these. These are the Lush. And... Oh, they're gorgeous. They're gorgeous. Um, they have a lot of cushion in them, so we'll see. Uh, my other ones actually had a back strap, but during one of my shows, the strap broke on it, so I ended up cutting them off and making them like this. So I really enjoy just being able to slip my foot in. So I did order the ones without a back strap. They're really nice. And apparently it is a good mail day because have another Amazon package waiting for me outside and I don't remember what it is oh makeup brushes all sorts of whoops all sorts of makeup brushes here and then um, I needed some new translucent powder so I just ordered some powder these are belly button rings. I actually don't change out my belly button ring a whole lot, but I, I really want to change it more. So this is like a pack. Oh, wow. And I got all the bling because I figured for the show um, I could use one of these. Oh, these are really nice. So yeah, there's tons in here. I mean, I have a kind of a blingy one in now, but that's cool. I did get me a travel food scale. I've really been wanting so this can fit anywhere um, so you keep it like this and use it or you can open it up travel with me to all my shows on vacation whatever um, that's gonna be really nice to have And I am a big teeth person, and I've been really wanting to whiten my teeth. So I found this overnight whitening pen. It's Colgate. Ordered it off Amazon. Um, yeah, super excited to try this. So we'll see if my teeth get any whiter over the next few days, if I make any more videos, or if you follow my story. Keep an eye out for white teeth. And lastly, <laughs> uh, bodybuilders always need Tupperware. Um, I don't remember. Let me open these so we can take a look and see. I think these are really nice. Yes, 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 yes. Okay. So, really nice Tupperware. Do I say that right? Is it Tupperware or Tupperware? Tupper with a P or Tupper with a B? I don't know. Um, oh, wow. So, look, this is perfect. I don't know if this lid goes on here. No. Maybe this lid. I don't know. I don't know which lid goes on which one. Ah, oh, it even has a tiny one. Oh, and I guess these are like if you want to put dividers in. All right, so here's one of the bigger ones. I'll show you. Okay, two different sizes. But I guess this is if you have something you want to divide. You would put this in there, maybe. 
Yeah. So you divide it, and then you got your lid, and the lid snaps so you don't have any leakage. Oh, this is nice. These are Rubbermaid. Um, ordered them off Amazon. Yeah. So a really cool, good mail day. Another meal about to go down, so I'm cooking shrimp um, and 100 grams of vegetables. So it's basically 100 grams of shrimp and 100 grams of, I did, um, I think it was 60 grams of spinach and 40 of like coleslaw mix. And so this is what it looks like. I'll just put that all in a bowl. So this is what it looks like. Today I'm using Flavor Gang Mutant Sauce. And I actually water these down. They're a little too thick. See, that one's too thick for me. I've already put water in and it's still too thick. And then um, some pickles. If you know me, I love my pickles. And I'll show you what kind of pickles these are. These are the bread and butter, no sugar added pickles. It is now 5.50 p.m. and um, I'm about to have 100 grams of chicken and 100 grams of asparagus um, between when I was last on and now. Um, I basically unpackaged those items that I got from Amazon and my shoes and cleaned up all of that. I did, uh, I had to work on a meal plan for a client and then I had a couple of things to do for my, my full-time job. Um, so I did that and then took a bath with um, some chamomile tea. Yes, I put tea bags in my bath water. Took a bath, um, that was nice. Had my gut drink because I forgot to drink it this morning. And so now I'm gonna have this meal um, probably just chill until the next meal and then um, I'll share what the next one is as well. So this is my chicken and asparagus. I use the uh, sweet poppy sauce. Again, it's watered down. This is for one tablespoon. This is 10 calories and one carb. Um, this is from Flavor Gang. It's my favorite. And so I just put, again, I water it down so it's very runny. I just kind of drizzle that on my chicken. And it's delicious. Hey, so it is 6.30. And I am wrapping up this YouTube video for tonight. Um, I am just really tired. And I really just want to sit on the couch and watch YouTube. <laughs> and um, relax. So I was just gonna tell you what I've done for my next meal is I did boil some cabbage and then I'm gonna have some asparagus and I used Terrace Major uh, steak which is like three grams of fat um, no carbs and protein so that will be my next meal and then um, I have one more very small bowl of cream of rice at the end of the night so um, I also drink a sleepy drink before bed. I think I've talked about that before. And um, I look forward to that every night. I have it about 8.30 and then I'm usually in bed by nine o'clock. That's my goal every night, to be in bed by nine o'clock. This morning I had to get up around 5.15, so it was pretty early. Um, tomorrow morning I get to sleep till like 6.15, so that's gonna be nice. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed this and please like and subscribe. Thanks.